Uh, next up, text, uh, Big 12, uh, Texas Tech, Texas. We've got Texas 13-point home favorites, 53-and-a-half the total in this game. Uh, should be an interesting matchup. I'll tell you what, I like Texas Tech. I don't know about win the game, but something tells me Texas Tech is going to make this a tough uh, tough game for Texas. Uh, the Red Raiders, as long as Baron Morton's been the quarterback, we've seen the offense be good. You know, UCF, they found it wasn't pretty. And really, there was some turnovers and some mistakes by uh, Texas Tech in that game more than anything. They got stopped on fourth down a couple of times. They probably should have won that game easier than they did. But I did have a money line. I'll take it. 24-23 win against UCF. They had wins against Kansas and TCU before that. Like I said, Baron Morton's healthy again, which is good. He's by far better than the quarterback that they had before that. Strong, uh, who took over from Shuck. Uh, but now that Morton's back, gives them a puncher's chance to be better offensively. And like I said, for Texas, you know, that they have not had many games easy since the BYU beat down. Kansas State, they survive and win by three. TCU, three-point win on the road. Uh, it's 10-point win at Iowa State last week, and that game was pretty close most of the way. Texas is not one of those teams that's executing at a high enough level right now where, yeah, let's lay almost two touchdowns with them. Uh, against a solid Texas Tech team. So Red Raiders are nothing for me in, in this price range. Uh, what do you think here, Connor? Yeah, and this, you know, last year, Texas Tech, I beat them, I believe, right? Because a couple years before that, I remember that 70 to 30, 35 game. 37, was, 34, Texas Tech in overtime last year. It was a classic. I remember it. In OT. And these games, for the most part, have been a ton of points. And then the last few games, I know Kansas Bean goes out, but last week the UFC uh, UCF game stays under. Texas offense just has been flashy. Rocco Beck threw it; they couldn't run it on Texas, you know, last week, um, and they probably should have covered that game. But Texas gets it done. I think this is a bit too many too. I like this maybe a little bit more over the two touchdowns to look Texas Tech's way. And the totals drop because of that. So I mean, you know, at 52 and a half, this seems a little bit different, but Bano, this would be near the 60. It's not right now. So well, I got to dig into a little bit more, but I got to side with the points as well. I don't, I, right now I don't want to lay points with Texas. Yeah. I might get there with the over, especially the look, the one concern is look, Texas hasn't been running up big points lately. I mean, you look at it, 26, 29, not as much as you would think, but I, I think in this matchup, they might have more success. Uh, and Quinn Ewers is starting to get you know better in, with each game since he's been back uh, from when he missed those couple of games. And he had a pretty solid, efficient game. And he, for the season, he still has 21 touchdowns and just four interceptions. So pretty good stuff as far as taking care of the football. Uh, Quinn yeah. Ewers uh, for uh, Texas. And uh, obviously, if he does that here, good chance to win. I just think Texas Tech, I've got this probably like in a 10, 7 to 10 point win maybe for Texas. I don't know about 13, but you're right. This total seems a little light based on series history because we've seen some shootouts in the past. Uh, 71 points last year, 105 points the year before. I mean, you go on down the list and we've, we've gotten at least into the uh, 70s in five straight head to head meetings between the Red Raiders and Longhorns. So we'll see if that keeps up uh, on Friday night.